The Philippines is the second largest archipelagic country in the world with as much as 7,500 islands. It has the world's fifth longest coastline of about 36,000 kilometers and a total offshore area of 2.2 million square kilometers. Due to the vast coastline of the country, there are areas that have not been explored yet for its economic potential, one of which is the West Philippine Sea. West Philippine Sea is the official designation by the government of the Philippines to the marine areas of the South China Sea that are included in the country's exclusive economic zone. To explore and study the economic potential of the West Philippine Sea, the National Fisheries Research and Development Institute, in collaboration with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, sent a team of researchers to the Kalayaan Island Group or KIG to determine the status of the fisheries resources, oceanographic conditions, and ecological habitats. The Kalayaan Island Group in the West Philippine Sea is comprised of islands, islets, and shoals, mostly coral reef areas, some of which are still unexplored. From April 16 to May 21, 2022, the WPS team embarked the research vessel MVDABFAR. During the first leg of the expedition, they surveyed Lawak, Patag, Likas, and Pag-asa Islands. Meanwhile, Parola Island, Naris Bank, Recto Bank, Sabina Shoal, and Rizal Reef Islands were visited during the second leg. From the nine sampling sites, the team was able to collect a total of 893 fish samples wherein 104 fish species were identified. Out of the experimental fishing they have conducted, the hound needle fish contributed about 20 kilograms or 12% of the total catch production. However, dark fin hind grouper, a reef fish, tops the list in terms of number. Profile of fishing gears reveal that most of the locals use bottom gill net for fishing. Multiple hand line, spear gun, trawl line, bottom set long line, and modified simple hand line are also used but not as much as the bottom gill net. Analysis of data gathered based on index of relative importance showed that the most dominant species in the KIG were common blue stripe snapper, Dark Fin Hind Grouper, Gold Spot Emperor, Spot Cheek Emperor, and Green Jubfish. While six others are common species, 18 species are classified as general and the rest are rare. Tissue samples were collected from all the fishes for genetic study to support fish identification and assessment of genetic diversity. The conduct of reproductive biology or the study to determine when fishes spawn or reproduce showed that most of the fishes are in their maturing stage at the time of sampling. An assessment of the environmental conditions showed that KIG is favorable to support living aquatic organisms. Assessment of the coral reef habitat in the islands showed that of all the reef sampled, Sabina Shoal still has higher than the average hard coral cover. Based on underwater fish visual sensors, it has the most diverse fish composition compared to other reef areas. 76 species found therein with a mean of 54 species composition within its coasts. Overall, Reef fishes associated with live corals recorded a total of 155 species from 28 families. The top 5 fish group observed in these areas were surgeon fishes, damsel fishes, emperors, wrasse, and butterfly fishes. The level of biomass or the total mass of the organisms in the KIG is from medium to very high, which is contributed mostly of surgeon fishes, trigger fishes, and fusiliers. 
The presence of the coral-eating crown of thorn sea star posed a major threat to the regeneration of the corals all over the reef communities. However, regeneration of new corals was observed, an indication that the reef does not give up easily on its goal to give life to these reefs. Although the Philippines is the world's center of marine biodiversity, it is also an epicenter of adversity in terms of pervasive threats to marine life. Habitat degradation and coral loss will greatly affect the biodiversity and productivity of reef fishes in the country. While it is truly challenging to conduct the research in an open, uncharted, and disputed water, the government continues to soldier on to address the developmental challenges in the fisheries sector. Marine protected areas are some of the measures undertaken to manage and ensure the sustainability of fisheries resources. The same could be done with Sabina Shoal given the good condition of its coral reef habitat. As a whole, the West Philippine Sea should be effectively managed and conserved to address the country's food security and sovereignty concerns. As a nation, we can do our share to protect, conserve, and replenish our fishery resources while caring for our environment, for our people, and the generations to come.